I'm heading off to my design team. My design team is every Saturday from 10 to 3 p.m. Um, and look, I have, oh, you can't really see. I've got my Mars socks on today. I'm uh, supporting, the, supporting the planet. Hi, today I'm at my design team, UBC Mars Colony. Um, a design team is like a student run team that just does a certain project. There's a lot of ones that compete in competitions and stuff like that. My team is UBC Mars Colony, so we are building stuff to help colonize Mars, essentially. Today I was working on testing a thermocouple, um, but then turned out the thermocouple was broken, so didn't end up really doing much. I just coded it, found out it didn't work, and then that was over, and then I um, made a CAD model of something that we're going to 3D print to help hold some pieces together. There aren't very many members here because of COVID-19. Um, only about 11 people showed up, so it's a lot smaller than it usually is today. My name is Garnet Butcher. I'm a fourth year integrative engineering student here at UBC, and I'm the current captain of UBC Mars Colony. So Mars Colony, we're an engineering design team. Um, we were basically started because uh, you have all these companies like SpaceX and organizations like NASA who are already having their plans to go to Mars and we want to solve the problem of what do you do when you actually get there. So we're essentially trying to make life on Mars a reality. Uh, we want to work on projects that enable human uh, presence on Mars. So our previous project was to make an airlock for an astronaut to enter an already established colony. Our current project is a Sabatia fuel plant project to create propellant that uh, rockets can use to get from Mars back to Earth. Uh, we have a huge range of members on the design team. Pretty much every department is represented. So there's engineers from mechanical and electrical and materials and chemical. Uh, it's a really uh, immersive process with a bunch of different disciplines incorporated into one. Uh, alongside design, we also do a lot of manufacturing work. Uh, I like to say that uh, members who do the manufacturing actually have better designs. So we have our members in the workshops actually cutting out things with angle grinders and water jets and doing a lot of the hands-on work. 